So working with some MIDI now. So to start with, I'm going to create a software instrument channel again. Here it is in green. So to start with, I'm just going to drag in a loop. So we can click on the loops and preview them. So I'm going to use that. I'm going to drag that one in and close this. So we've got a four bar loop. Now we'll be able to see that a couple of little things have been applied over here. but that is because we have dragged a preset instrument in. Now if I double click onto the region, we can now see if I click on the region, either double click on it or press P you can now see the information within the region. So I'm going to press I to hide this part. Now, because this part has been essentially played in, you can see that some of these notes don't perfectly line up. Now, if this was your own performance, chances are you would want to tidy this up. I mean, let's just have a little look at this now. So we have something called quantization. So quantization allows you to move your MIDI notes to the closest grid line. Now, when we've had a look at this, bear in mind that the computer doesn't know whether you're in time or not in relation to any other sounds or parts that you've played. All it's looking at is if these notes line up on the grid. So anything that we apply, we then have to listen to it and check that it's correct. So quantization, let's just look at one beat, uh, one bar. One bar in a time signature of four four is divided into four beats. Those four beats are then all divided by four, which would give us 16 divisions. That's what this little number is here. Now, we can see, and if you want to count them, you can. There are 16 little squares along here. If we keep zooming in, those will keep dividing down, so they're giving you more grid lines to make it more accurate when you move a note. The quantization is going to move the notes automatically dependent on your division of the grid. So if I select all of these notes, Command and A, and come over to the left, I'm just going to put them on one to one. So this will move everything to the first beat of the bar. So it'll either move to one, two, three, or four. Okay. If I do a half note, which is the next quantization value, they will move to either the first or the third position of each bar. If we do a quarter, they will move to the quarter positions. If we do an eighth, it will move to the eighth positions or the closest eighth position but every single note is rigid on the line we go to a sixteenth sixteenth is probably a little bit closer to a normal performance style if I go back to off 
see that they're just altered from that. So if we have off and we listen to it. And then we go to a 16th. It's just a little bit straighter. But this is how you can manipulate your MIDI parts so that they are perfectly on the grid or not. And it's dependent on whether it is a rhythmic part or a melodic part. So my advice would be drums and bass should be quantized. And then everything else can be a little bit freer over the top. So if we leave this piano part and I create another instrument, I'm going to load Ultra Beat, which is a drum step sequencer. I'm going to load a drum kit. I'm going to just quickly listen to this basic pattern. We can see all the different drum sounds. And I'm going to use this part. I'm going to drag this down and close this. So now I have a drum part under my piano. I don't particularly like the drum part so there's a couple of ways to alter this now I can either come back to ultra beat and change the drum machine to a different sound these MIDI notes are going to play the same rhythm but they are now going to play a new set of sounds change the drum kit completely. If I go to no plugin, this means that now the MIDI will not play. MIDI itself doesn't have a sound, so it has to trigger something else. So let's add drum machine designer. I'm just going to choose Futura kit. Close this. Alternatively, I could get rid of all of this and I could add my drummer. software instrument channel and I can drag this down I can either copy it or move it and it will give me the MIDI parts so I can now delete the drummer which is a little bit processor intensive and I can apply my own drum kit to the pattern that came from the drummer So I'm still not a fan of one of those symbols. So let's change it. So it's the ride. Okay, 
clear cell. So with the cell cleared, you can choose the bank of hi-hats here, click and it will load it. software instrument I'm just gonna go EXS24 logics basic sampler and I'm just gonna pick a nice base to go with this now what I'm gonna do here is I'm actually going to copy the piano part down I'm just going to get rid of the chords. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to extend all of these longer notes just by using my editing. just to give a little bit of sustain on those. And now a little bit of experimentation. I'm gonna get rid of that one. get these so that these notes actually start on the first beat of each bar it sounds a lot tighter with the drum kit 